Lesson 4.6 Model Decimal by Decimal Multiplication We can use a sheet of graph paper or a grid of 100 squares to model multiplying a decimal by a decimal. We can shade columns of squares with one color for one factor and rows of squares with a different color for the other factor. Then we can count or multiply to find how many small squares are shaded twice. So remember, columns are coming down and rows go across. For 4 tenths times 6 tenths, we shade in 6 columns to represent the 6 tenths. Each column coming down is 1 tenth. There's 100 squares here. Then we shade 4 rows of 6 to represent the 4 tenths. We have 4 rows here. And we shade them coming across this way. Then we count the double shaded area for our product. There's 24 squares are double shaded, which represents 24 of 100 squares, which equals 24 hundredths. 4 tenths times 6 tenths means 4 tenths of 6 tenths. The columns represent the second factor. So these six columns represent this six tenths, and the rows represent the first factor, four tenths. We have four rows. And the product is part of the part that is shaded, so the area is shaded twice. There is five tenths of a pizza. Bob eats eight tenths of the five tenths. How much did Bob eat? So we think. 8 tenths of 5 tenths. That's 8 tenths times 5 tenths. We make 5 pink columns coming down, or whatever color you choose. Then, for that's the, for the second factor. Then for the first factor, we make 8 rows. And we stop at the end of the pink columns here. See? We count how many there are. 5 times 8 is 40. We have 40 squares of 100. We have 40 hundredths. We can also write it as 4 tenths because that's a trailing zero, isn't it? In video 3.4, we learned that we can add or remove trailing zeros from the right side of a decimal number. So either answer would be correct, 40 hundredths or 4 tenths. The columns in rows each represent tenths. And the small squares represent hundredths. The squares that are shaded twice represent the product of a tenth multiplied by a tenth. So 8 tenths times 5 tenths is equal to 40 of 100 squares. It's equal to 40 hundredths. When both decimal factors are less than one whole, we are finding a part of an area that is less than one whole. Six tenths and three tenths are both less than one whole. Six tenths times three tenths means six tenths of three tenths. We shade in the second factor. We have three tenths. Then we shade in six rows for the six tenths. We're finding six tenths of an area that we shaded as three tenths. And there are 18 squares of the 100 squares that are shaded twice, so 6 tenths times 3 tenths is equal to 18 hundredths. And the product will be less than one whole and less than each factor. 18 hundredths is less than one whole, and it's less than 6 tenths, and it's less than 3 tenths. We can use decimal squares to multiply decimals that are greater than one whole. One whole would equal one fully shaded model. One hundredth would be one small square. We have four tenths times one and two tenths. We draw two models of one hundred each. We can outline a ten by ten square and another ten by ten square. We can put them next to each other. We shade one whole model and two tenths of the second model. Then we shade four rows of both models going all the way to the end of the pink for the two tenths. 
we count the double shaded area. There's 48 squares that are double shaded. That means each square is one hundredth. If there's 48 of them, it's equal to 48 hundredths. So our equation was four tenths times one and two tenths, and it was equal to 48 hundredths. And our product, the 48 hundredths, is less than only one of the decimal factors because we're finding a part of one and two tenths. The product will be less than one and two tenths, but greater than four tenths. There are four shaded rows of 12 shaded columns. And remember to only count the double shaded small squares for the product. The word of means we need to multiply. If you see the word of in a word problem, you probably need to multiply. Two tenths of the amount seven tenths means two tenths times seven tenths. Five tenths times the amount of one and four tenths means five tenths times one and four tenths. Four tenths of the distance means four tenths times the distance, whatever the distance is. And nine tenths cups of two and three tenths means nine tenths times two and three tenths. Sophia bought one and six tenths pounds of apples. She eats two tenths of that amount on Monday and one tenth of that amount on Tuesday. How many pounds of apples are left? So think, two tenths and one tenth are both multiplied by one and six tenths. Two tenths of one and six tenths, one tenth of one and six tenths. So they're both being multiplied by one and six tenths. We can add them together because they're both being multiplied by the same number. We get three tenths times one and six tenths. We make 16 shaded columns for one and six tenths. We need to use two models. Then we shade three rows going all the way to the end of the first color. We get 48 hundredths. There are 48 little squares here that are shaded twice. Each one represents a hundredth. Now that we have 48 hundredths, we're not finished. That's the amount that was eaten. Now we need to subtract it from how much she bought and we get one and twelve hundredths pounds left. So the single shaded area is what is left over. Remember, we start by shading the columns for the second factor. We have four tenths times one and nine tenths. We start by shading the columns for the one and nine tenths. We use one color. Then we shade the rows for the first factor, the four tenths. The area that we shaded twice will be the product. We count the small squares that we shaded twice. Each small square is one hundredth. So I've shaded one color for the one and nine tenths as pink. And then for four tenths, I used blue for the four rows going across. We count how many little squares are shaded twice. We have 76 of them. Each little square is a hundredth. It's equal to 76 hundredths. Remember that we can turn a lined sheet of paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. And you can use PayPal or Patreon to help support my dogs and me for all the efforts I've put in to help you. And there's links in the video description. Our next lesson, 4.7, we're going to multiply decimals with place value and with estimation. I hope I'll see you there. And stay safe, stay well, and have a great day. Bye.